back to my channel my name is wolo this is the usual intro i give whenever i come on this channel um i live in winnipeg manitoba and i create content about life in canada and immigrating to canada i want to say a very big thank you if you have subscribed to this channel click on the notification bell and subscribe and whenever i upload a video you will be the first to know thank you to all of my consistent subscribers and uh, people you have shared the videos with they have been very helpful to so many people um, I'm really grateful for you guys and I'm hoping you are all staying safe because we need to be alive During this period and hope that the, the pandemic whatever blows over as soon as possible um, Today's video is a continuation of the frequently asked questions I have received in several of my videos and that is specifically for studying in Canada. One of the questions I received was if um, Canada is still issuing study permit visas during this period, I would say yes. Although the processing times is taking so much time, but some people have actually received their study permit visas and they can actually start learning from outside Canada, especially if the courses that they are supposed to take are online uh, courses. And what is happening is most of the universities in Canada have actually moved their courses to online. So if you have received your study permit recently and you are stuck outside Canada, you've not been able to get into Canada, you can actually study online um, while waiting for this issue to pass. And then once this issue is over, you can then come to Canada and guess what the good thing is your study permits or the times you spent during um, studying online while outside Canada will count towards your postgraduate work permit so it's a very peculiar situation so it will count towards your postgraduate work permit previously people who do distance learning outside of Canada maybe you just choose any distance learning course and then study and um, expecting to use it to immigrate it doesn't usually count you don't get a postgraduate work permit from it and it doesn't also count towards getting points in express entry so that is another question i've also answered there so if you go online and maybe you see a course that you feel okay during this period you want to quickly register and then um, take courses that are based in canada so that you can add towards your points in express entry i'm sorry that will not count because it is a distance learning course and does not count towards either postgraduate work permit or it doesn't give you points for express entry. So that's the second question there. Then the third question was, which is the fastest way of getting a permanent resident status after studying in Canada? Or which province gives um, opportunity for provincial nomination to get a permanent resident status after studying? and from my research the research i have done so far it is only british columbia that has a pathway for um postgraduate students who had done a master's or a phd in their province and have finished can immediately after they get their certificates from their university that they are done with their program they can immediately apply for a provincial nomination that they can use um, to gain more points in their express entry profile, but it is specific to some courses So not all courses are eligible for that pathway There are ten courses that you can study in British Columbia for a master's degree and for a PhD and Immediately you graduate you can apply for a provincial nomination I think it is only British Columbia that has that every other province does not have that um, pathway um, for the AIPP provinces, you need to have a job offer. For Manitoba, you must have worked for six months or thereabouts before you can even apply for a provincial nomination. For Saskatchewan, they have their own criteria as well. For Ontario, Ontario, of course, once in a while, they just open the master's pathway and the PhD pathway and they just close it within seconds. So these are the restrictions in these other provinces. It's only British Columbia that has a particular pathway for master's degree programs and PhD programs. Immediately you graduate, you can apply for a British uh, Columbia provincial nomination without even a job offer. Apply immediately, get the 600 points which can be added to your express entry profile and then 
you are uh, within within one year or less than one year you'll be able to get your permanent residence status after graduation i'll be calling out these 10 courses and i'll also be leaving the link um, on the description box of this video so that if you intend to do a master's and you just want to get your pr immediately after you've done your master's without the stress of looking for a job or the stress of any other thing um you can choose your school in british columbia i've already done a video about designated learning institutes um, cost of living tuition and expense for students so you can check those videos out i'll also be leaving the links of those videos in the description box of this video just in case you're looking for it so that you can have an idea and um let me pick up my laptop so that you, i can read these courses out the first one is agriculture agriculture operations and related sciences biological and biomedical sciences computer and information sciences and support services engineering engineering technology and engineering related fields health professions and related programs mathematics and statistics natural resources conservation and physical sciences so if you do a master's in any of these courses in bc the moment you just write your last paper and you've gotten your certificate go ahead and apply for a british provincial nomination without a job offer that is the fastest way of becoming a permanent resident in canada after studying in canada at the postgraduate level for a for an undergraduate level or for just a certificate program um you have to you know find if the provinces have um, different provincial pathway that will be favorable for you or maybe through the rural and northern immigration pilot or through the AIPP and you know all these words they also require job offers but BC is the only province that does not require a job offer for specific courses like I mentioned specific courses so as a medical doctor wanting to immigrate to Canada if you're struggling in the express entry pool I would suggest you look for let's say a master's degree program in biomedical sciences in British Columbia and after your two years of studying in British Columbia you just apply for your uh, provincial nomination and then you get more points for your permanent resident status so I hope I have answered that question there BC is the only province that has the fastest way of becoming a permanent resident after studying at the postgraduate level and at the PhD level and I will still continue on this series. Hopefully, I will go outside. The weather has been overcast this period and it's not lovely. Um, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.